Alright, what's up? Um, this is a tutorial basically for somebody who was requesting some help with EasyPHP. I was talking to him in Vent, and I thought I'd help him out by making this tutorial for him. And so I thought I'd share it with everybody else um, how to get PHP files to correspond with your web browser. Since, without a website, of course, locally since your web browser is only formatted to read HTML unless specified otherwise from web servers corresponding with Apache and MySQL. If you don't understand what I just said, um, it's all good. So let's continue on. The product's called EasyPHP. You know there's WAMP and stuff out there, but this is the most efficient, smallest, and final size, easiest to use. It's called Easy PHP. It's a little ironic. It's easy and it lets you run PHP. So, it's a site called Google. Never heard of it. You might want to bookmark it now. <laughs> a little joke. Easy PHP. You're going to Google that in and find a download to that. Okay, it's free. After you get installed, start our programs. Easy PHP, run it. It's going to be down in your taskbar next to your clock, lower right hand corner. It's going to say server starting. And you have Apache started, MySQL started, so minimize it. Now, what we're going to do is a little test to make sure it's running. We're going to go up in the top of our web browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox 3 for anyone who's wondering. I'm going to type in 127.0.0.1. This is your local IP address. It's called localhost. It's kind of self explanatory. Local, meaning nobody else but you can see it or access it. Host, you're able to host stuff, like PHP files, for example. Alright, so nobody else is going to be able to access your local host this is just your own little basic website on your computer and the cool thing is you don't need internet to access your local host so if you're disconnected go up there anyways and type in local host though if you were disconnected I don't know how you'd be watching this video anyways you should get something that looks like this without the folder and you know we're all good now right so if it looks like this we get no connection timeout oh uh, whatever I'm not you guys don't need an example of connection timeout right we get this what we're gonna do next is let's say we have our PHP file uh, open up some Dreamweaver let's do a new PHP file uh, we don't need all that stuff right something um, psh, psh, psh. let's just do the original okay so you have your PHP file right you have all your coding and stuff and you're gonna save it you're gonna save it your PHP file you can drag it whatever you're gonna go my computer local disk I don't know what your local disk is but mine is C program files navigate to easy PHP I'm running 3.0 which I believe is the newest we're gonna go to the www folder and right there we can create um, new folders and creating a new folder is basically creating a new directory so if we create a new folder called cwade and put a php file in there we type in 127.0.0.1 slash cwade and it would show us the php file if it was named index.php if not then we'd have to click on the PHP file in the directory listings but anyways 
if you don't want to make another folder and whenever you type in your local host and you want the PHP file to be displayed you're gonna save it as PHP and just index right in the default directory index so once we type in our local host what up you know simple PHP right there I don't need to you know you, you it's endless you can do a whole bunch of stuff so happy PHP -ing with easy PHP you know Apache supported MySQL supported and your limit you're limitless with it so just mess around with it get to web creating this is C Wade hope I helped you guys out thanks for watching